Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I will be reacting to Death Bell's quote unquote newest. The reason why I'm calling this because it is technically new Death Bell, but I I could react to it Friday, I could react to it Friday, Saturday, all that stuff. But anyways, um, Thor versus Wonder Woman, and recently I did react to um. Thor vs. Shazam, with all, with all the feats that Diphenoid listed, uh, link in the description for that reaction, or probably, yeah, link in the description for that video, the original video for Diphenoid's Thor vs. Shazam, but anyway, Thor vs. Wonder Woman, it would be a tough battle. Because I did see a prediction, uh, prediction on this, and he sided Thor, which he, well, in my eyes, I, I think he did downplay Wonder Woman a little bit. I'll be linking that video to the uh, prediction in the description below too. But anyways, um, yeah, with the God Blast, which can eradicate anybody. Including Galactus, and Galactus literally stated that that move can destroy him. I think that will work on Wonder Woman. But even though with the speed, with his power, speed, door. Okay. Mewder. Of course, you need to be pure heart in order to lift it or move it at all. But here's. I mean, there is a catch around it, like, for example, when Hulk threw Thor into space with the hammer, and yet he was still hold and yet Thor was still holding onto the hammer, which I find very stupid. Which, there is a twist, unless you're pure of heart, yes, you can probably lift the hammer, but it could apply in combat, too, if that person is pure of heart, then it, then it could be the same move, and it won't hurt, well, yeah, like say, oh yeah, Thor is attacking Wonder Woman from above, and then she's pure of heart. It wouldn't really, hurt, probably wouldn't hurt her, or something. I don't know how to explain, but yeah. Well, okay. He's strong enough to lift 40 planets with one arm. This is, and I'm getting all this from the guy that was predict, was predicting this. Thor is strong enough to lift... 40 planets with one arm, but yet I think one of Woman's strongest feat is when she helped move the Earth, which I'm not really going to count that because, oh yeah, this is one Woman we are talking about. Speed, yes, she is had to go by, well, for one Woman's speed, you have to, well, some people have to scale her. Their ability, she's much better in. But her lasso of truth and her magical sword. I feel like it would be a problem for Thor. But unless he blocks it with Mjolnir, he should be fine. And the lasso, the lasso of truth. I mean, yes, it is technically unbreakable, but it does have its loopholes. It may be unbreakable, but it can be broken. Well, it can be broken and ripped and stuff. With um, Yaldu Warping properties. For example, say. Um, uh, let's just do this card. He, then he can just. Then he can just. Well, pow. Just cut, break that. Break that rope in half. But I really don't see one of me having too much things to actually. Kill Thor. Other than the sword. But the number one thing I see. Thor winning automatically is Mjolnir. Mjolnir plus Warrior Madness too, which boosts everything by times ten. Oh, someone like someone like the Kyle Kid times ten. Ha! Without further ado, let's get on with this video without me ranting on no more. Shut up, birds. No uh my brother is in the house with me too. So if he does come in the video, that's mainly why. Because since now he's in kindergarten. Which I'm somewhat just kind of like I'm proud, but not really at the same time because now I have to watch him, but I still get paid. 
without further ado, let's get on with this video right now. The different pantheons of gods and goddesses have always been rife with conflict, and these heavenly wars can last for centuries. True. Like with Thor, Norse champion of Asgard and son of Odin, and Wonder Woman, Greek warrior of the Amazons and daughter of Zeus. I could be He's wrong. He's an stick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, okay, and Okay, Wonder Woman, I do not know her feats too much. Because mainly they have to be either scaled or they're not really as this strong. This is the Realm Eternal, root of the world tree and noblest of the nine dimensions, Asgard. Like a protector for your butt. Bruh. Asgard. Really? Since ancient times, this colorful realm has been inhabited by warriors so powerful, many believe them to be immortal deities. And they sort of were, but being immortal in Asgard is a funny thing. See, every few thousand years, these fellas go through a little apocalyptic event where everybody dies. Then really? they are born anew with only vague memories of their previous lives. That's stupid. This is the cataclysmic event known as Ragnarok. And Asgard's newest king, the All-Father Odin, was determined to break this cycle. So he fathered the best damn warrior the realms had ever seen. <laughs> the mighty Thor. Thor spent most of his life living among his people and defending the his most realm. Badass Asgard and ever. He was good at it. Like, really good. He's their tank and DPS all rolled into one when it comes to raiding other realms. And boy, does he look the part. This guy is six feet six inches of pure muscle and possibly lead because he somehow weighs 640 pounds. Damn! He was trained by the best in Asgard and has proven his mettle across multiple worlds. He helped found the Avengers and has defeated everything from Wait, did, to wait, did that to thing says um once turned into a frog? God, Thor is super strong, super fast, and super durable. And even on those rare occasions when he no, does I'm not her, right. he patches up real quick with his healing factor. And of course, being the god of Of course, oh, it's every fictional fight fi every fictional character have healing factor. Without his iconic arsenal, he wears the belt of strength, which doubles his already impressive might. And he swings around the most awesome tiny little hammer you've ever seen. Mjolnir is Fuck an yes. ancient weapon. 65 million years ago, it was forged by Shut the up, by harnessing a star. Its construction was so intense, it caused the star to explode, and its fiery remains eradicated the dinosaurs. Talk hmm. about metal! Speaking of metal, Mjolnir is forged from Uru, an extremely durable iron-like ore that is highly susceptible to enchantment. Mjolnir in particular so is mainly the house the of a storm, steroids. powerful enough to shake black holes. And yes, the wielders of Mjolnir can access the storm's powers, including levitation and control over weather. Damn. I never wanted anything so bad in my life. I know, right? Unfortunately, only those the hammer deems worthy can actually wield it. Hello? Sorry about that, guys. Um, someone called me. Someone called me. I'm going to cut that part out. Anyways, let's get back into the video. Apparently, the video didn't save either. The video did not save either, so... Well, the video that I'm reacting to right now, it didn't save where it was, so I'm just gonna put... So I'm just gonna leave it right here, because I'm not gonna mess around with it, so... Up real quick with his healing factor. And of course, being the god of thunder lets him control lightning and even the earth itself. Damn. Thor isn't complete without his iconic arsenal. He wears the belt of strength, which doubles his already impressive might. And he swings around the most awesome tiny little hammer you've ever seen. Mjolnir is an ancient weapon. Oh, well, I think it was... Five million well, years ago, it was ew, ew, by yeah. dwarves by harnessing a star. Its construction was so intense, it caused the star to explode. And its Damn. fiery remains eradicated the dinosaurs. Talk about metal! Speaking of metal, Mjolnir is forged from Uru, an extremely durable iron-like ore that is highly susceptible to enchantment. Mjolnir huh. in particular is enchanted to house a cosmic storm powerful enough to shake black holes. And yes, the wielders of Mjolnir can access the storm's power. I think it's right here. Levitation and control over weather. Never wanted anything so bad in my life. Yeah, it's here. Unfortunately, only those the hammer deems worthy can actually wield it, or even pick it up for that matter. 
You must be Damn pure Thor. of heart and noble of mind, or else it won't even budge. Well, lucky for Thor, he's worthy of adding Mjolnir's awesome power to his own. And with their powers combined, nothing can stop him. Thor has Not really attacked Thor, who at his best can run around 670 million miles per hour. And Thor can move even faster than that Level when his arm, is dragging him around. Yeah, that's a thing. Thor doesn't really fly on his own in the same way people like Superman or Captain Marvel do. Instead, he literally chucks his hammer as hard as he can and hangs on for dear life as it takes him for a ride. Thor <laughs> has said Mjolnir is fast enough to reach the edge of the universe in 60 seconds. This means it can travel at least 300 trillion miles per hour, or over 500,000 times the speed of light. Don't let go, Goldilocks. Hitting pavement and that might hurt even you. Hey, he'd be fine. He can withstand a dip in the sun, where it can be over 27 million degrees Fahrenheit. And while he was knocked unconscious, he did survive a bomb capable of planet busting equal to a force of over 53 quadrillion megatons of TNT. Damn. I'm more impressed that he lifted this giant-ass snake! Look at that thing! The Midgard Serpent is massive, capable of wrapping around the entire Earth twice. It stretches nearly 900 miles wide and 50,000 miles long. By comparing it to the largest living snakes, the 550-pound green aconda, we can estimate the Midgard Serpent weighs about 17 trillion tons. Hold on, Wiz. I know my snakes, and it looks like that mudguard serpent is actually constricting the earth. By squeezing prey, a snake can apply pressure 16 times its normal weight. So Thor didn't just lift a really heavy snake, he outmatched 272 trillion tons of force. Damn. Uh, that is correct, Boomstick. Goddamn right it is. It is important it to stress me. the unbelievable power Thor possesses. So much so that in fights with other godly beings, whole worlds can shatter. If Could? it comes to they it, he can enter a state of warrior's madness. While he loses some control doing this, his power increases tenfold. Why did we put this guy up against Raiden again? Well, Thor's cocky attitude Stupid has ideas. put him in all kinds of trouble. He's even lost Mjolnir's power more than once as a result. Yeah, the hammer isn't invulnerable, and if Thor is holding on to it, its enchantment can even be tricked. Like that one time, the Hulk used his own hammer against him by moving his arm. Why are you hitting yourself? So to the classic. for a lesson in humility, Odin banished him to Earth, transforming him into a handicapped human. You call that a handicap? That's a limp. I'm over here with a friggin' shotgun for a leg, and I'm not even allowed to park in those special parking spaces. Still, it Damn. turns out sending Thor to Earth was all part of Odin's plan to alter the cycle of Ragnarok, as such a thing had never been done before. And it worked! 4,000 years after the previous Ragnarok, Armageddon was stopped for good, hmm. and the gods were free. All thanks Yay. to Thor, and a giant time-traveling floating sentient eyeball, but mostly Thor. Can't make this stuff up. What? You really can't. Boy. That rocks. Legend has it that lost <laughs> among the waves sits a solitary island called Themyscira, shrouded in secrecy and inhabited solely by women. Hey Wiz, guess what's my new number one vacation spot? Hello, this. Despite wow. their paradise isle far from civilization, the women of Themyscira are more dangerous than you'd think. They are Amazons, immortal warriors created by the Olympian gods. Amazon. Is that a good chocolate place? The justice of the gods to a barbarian world. And ship anything to you for free within two days. If you pay an annual fee. But a bunch of centuries later, they were kind of out of the loop. These chicks had never even heard of shotguns before. Until the day a military plane crashed near the island. Determined to reconnect with the world and establish peace once again, the Amazons held a tournament to select a representative. The final test requiring each lady to block a bullet from just a couple yards away. Damn, they don't mess around. The winner was one of their youngest, a brave woman known simply as Diana. And that's how she became the Wonder Woman. Due to her warrior heritage, Wonder Woman was trained from My a very young age in just about every aspect of combat you can imagine. Because what else are you going to do on that? Type and juice. Do master with swords, axes, spears, bows, shields. Nah, hell, and pretty much anything that isn't a gun. 
Her hey, hands on physiology grants her super strength, super speed, heightened wisdom, and the ability to heal from most wounds almost instantly. And she can fly, just like Superman. How else do you think she'd get around? An invisible jet? That's yeah. stupid. How'd you even remember where you parked it? To further improve her deadliness, she carries a rather unique arsenal, among which are her iconic bracelets of submission. Ah, that sounds like some weird BDSM shit. That well, sounds sexual. they kind of were, but the universe has been reset more than enough times to change all that, thank god. Right. Anyway, those bracelets are her greatest tool for defense. Forged by the smith god Hephaestus using the remains of Zeus's legendary Aegis shield, the bracelets are impervious to nearly anything, including gunfire, demon lightning, and Kryptonian heat vision, which can be hotter than the sun. They can summon Zeus's lightning, or even the indestructible Aegis they were made from. To avoid collateral damage, the bracelets also suppress some of Diana's strength. Taking them off vastly increases her godly power. Oh, and she can use them to summon weapons like her magic sword. Also well, forced by Hephaestus, this sword's edge is so sharp that it can slice through microscopic atoms. This means a precision strike from Wonder Woman can cut through nearly any material. Man, this is Vesto's Yeah, that's what said in the stuff. sword might be commissions. Well, he's not responsible for Diana's final weapon, the Lasso of Truth. This unbreakable whip has the power to make anybody it touches tell the truth. Bad news for any cheating boyfriend she might have. What other depraved thoughts must you be thinking? God, your daughter's got a nice rack. Shall I kill him now? Damn. Of course, she doesn't need he's weapons not lying. to prove her he's awesome not lying combat about that. skills. According to Batman, Diana is the greatest melee fighter in the world, which is no small feat in a universe with people like Karate Kid, Deathstroke, and Batman himself. Did you say the Karate Kid? Man, Daniel sounds really moved up in the world. Hmm. The point is, Wonder Woman is a master martial artist who's trained all her life. And while she has no official birth like date, we do know she was born during the age of the Roman Empire, specifically when they employed centurions. Including the additional time she spent fighting in Valhalla before going back in time, this means Wonder Woman must be about 3,000 years old. All well, things considered, she looks pretty damn good for her age. And that's more than enough time to become a master ass kicker. It also helps that she's pretty darn quick. She's kept pace with Superman and defeated the speedster Professor Zoom while blind. At one point, Wonder Woman was battling an ancient god who had fragmented himself into trillions of pieces, each spread to different corners of the universe. And while he summoned his pieces back at faster than light speed, Wonder Woman was able to stand in his way and block all of them. That's insane! I mean, she's moving Holy so fast, there's shit. like a bunch of her. Moving thousands of times the speed of light can do that. In fact, she's moving so fast, she's probably breaking all manners of quantum physics. She's also rich to so strong. She punched Doomsday into literal dust and helped pull the Earth around. The force that I do not want to say. That one I do not want to say. One thousandth of the object's mass, including the Earth itself. Assuming Wonder Woman was pulling her fair share, this means she can lift 2.2 quintillion tons. Huh. And Grandpappy Boomstick always told me women were the weaker sex. I don't see him lifting a third of the Earth. She's also incredibly tough. Nuclear explosions hardly even face her. Huh. Oh yeah, she punched a warhead and tanked it point blank. And then one day, Superman, who could see atoms, decided to split one to test her magic sword. Surprise, surprise, it literally blew up in their faces. <laughs> Waggy antics. Even more impressive hey. was her fight with Zoom, in which she took several light speed punches, which, according to her fellow Justice League member The Flash, hit like a white dwarf star. That would equal two billion megatons of force. Unfortunately, Wendy's not invincible. She's got her own kryptonite, and it's a lot more common than radioactive alien rocks. Her durability holds up well against almost everything, except for piercing weapons. Which just seems like an unacceptable weakness when you're that strong. I know, Knives, right? Swords, spears, any kind of blade will do the trick. But especially bullets, which is probably why she's gotten so good at blocking them with those bracelets. Unfortunately for swordsmen and sharpshooters, Diana doesn't go down easily. In fact, a good stabbing is more than likely just gonna piss her off. And <laughs> that's when you learn just how dangerous Wonder Woman can really be. Well, totally, totally, and there we go, Wonder Woman. Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, all this talk of godly people makes me want some godly food. <laughs> I can really care too much about. Over the past five.
Really? A spear? A moth and spear. Okay, there for that. And spear down. You better put that spear down. I will not set that. I guess. It's a smell unique. It's a smell constant. Alright, just give me. Just give me a race with like for the, the bell, just waiting. You, body wash. Yep, taking forever. You, no man can enter the mascara unannounced. Stand down, wayward maiden. This sort of thing never turns out well. Uh, right. the voice now. Oh. I don't think you've ever known a woman like me. What the ass? <laughs> Fuck the shield! Come on, door. Door, come on. Stop holding back, Diana. Wow, I'm shocked. Bruh, really, a tomato. Why is she really in rock? She can fly! I guess she only had one sword, not two. Wow, Feel it. Feel the wrath. Bye bye, moon. Bye bye, dinosaurs. Come on, Thor. Not until you. Until you dead. Excuse me? That's what he meant. That should have crushed her. Literally, those strikes back there should have crushed her. <laughs> you are not worthy. <laughs> it's a mouth. The back of the mouth. Oh, go, Wendy. Looks like somebody's been watching too much Game of Thrones. Thor <laughs> and Wonder Woman matched each other in some surprising ways. Their weapons were enchanted, their years of experience were similar, and even their super modes did almost the same sort of thing. But Lady Wonder had a couple big things going for her, like her speed. Sure, Thor is fast enough to tag Quicksilver, and the speed with Mjolnir is just stupid fast. But Wonder Woman's shown that she's even more stupid fast in combat stupid over and fast. over again. Such as when she blocked trillions of god shards flying at her from the edges of the universe. Most likely faster than any speed Mjolnir was capable of. One, I thought you said the god shards were going to the... Enemy, I don't remember his name. I thought you said it was going to him, not directly at Wonder Woman, and then she got in front of it, and then made me block all of them. She was even able to catch Zoom in her lasso, despite how he wasn't just running ahead of her in physical space, but he was also ahead of her in time. Crap, you're noggin' around that one. Thor's durability was greater than Wonder Woman's, but the difference in strength was a different story. In fact, when comparing their earth and snake feats, she was 8,000 times stronger than him. But the final nail in Thor's coffin really? was their choice of weaponry. 
Mjolnir may have been tough for Diana to defend against, but it couldn't exploit her weakness to piercing weapons. Meanwhile, Diana's really sword that's your explanation. Level something for I mean, yes, I get it, to but against. the hammer could just squash so her that like a bug. In the sun, no problem, but it won't do a damn thing to a blade that can literally sever your atoms. Ultimately, while many of their talents were evenly matched. Diana's speed, strength, and weaponry proved too much for Thor. Odin. That's stupid. Yep, he was done, Thor. The winner is Wonder Woman. My God, Wonder the Woman. ending quip. <laughs> My Stick around, we're about to announce the combatants for the next death battle. And if you want to watch exclusive commentary on this episode, click that little box over there and start a first membership trial. Try to Who's next? Katsuya Tisha! You should go for me? Versus Nar... Finally, no anime fight. Finally, <laughs> Naruto versus Ichigo. <laughs> Naruto versus Ichigo. The hypeness is real. The hypeness is real, boys. But. Uh, <laughs> If they are using all of Naruto's story, I do see Naruto winning, no doubt. Because the I don't, I don't know too much about Naruto, so I can again be one hundred percent on Naruto's side. But I feel more like I know some things. For example, his main, a uh, well, his main um move is called Rasengan, which actually has like. Oh, like, you charge it around like this, and then mainly it can... Yeah. But anyways, he does a Shadow Clone, the little Shuriken. Yeah, the little Shuriken Shadow Clone, and then since he has Chakra, he can mainly be creative. Be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna make a... Uh, I don't know how to say it, I do not watch Naruto too much. I watch versus the Baders use, like, use Naruto, and I'm trying to base that off of what I got. It has been a while since I've actually seen Naruto. Well, actually, I have not seen the series whatsoever. But I will get into it. Bleach, I'm not sure. But yes, I will. For now, I will be signing with Naruto. Oh, until I reach either research it or hear versus debater debating Ichigo Naruto. But yes, guys, that will do it for this fight. If you like this um this reaction, call call please punch the like button, phone, computer, tablet, whatever you do watch this video, punch that screen, subscribe to my channel, follow my Patreon too, you'll see the rewards up right now. One, two, and three. But anyways, yes, that'll do it. Smash the like button, follow my Patreon, com uh, subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what do you want me to react to, and I will do it when I get a chance. But without further ado, guys, peace out, and please, guys, follow me. Please support my Patreon, too, because just because I know you won't care and all, but still, come on, guys, you can do it. Come on, please.